Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I'm here to tumble. Yet again, I can't stop. It's too much fun. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. Why should I not tumble when I could be tumbling, you know? Let's go for it. Oh my god, that's a long post. Crazy, my Wi-Fi is slow. <sighs> Cruise ship passenger says he battled confusion, fatigue, and some sort of creatures to survive while stranded in the ocean. Just when you th think it couldn't be any worse, you have to battle a creature. He also said he wasn't drunk despite having several drinks and not remembering how he fell off the ship. He's and he said he swam for fifteen plus hours, and most people can tread in water for maybe two or three. A lot isn't adding up. I've chosen to believe him because I think there should be mystery and adventure in the world. Okay, I looked this one up. He said and he talked to God, made up songs, lost nine kilos, or he has twenty hours in the water. He was also completely nude when he he was rescued. Hero's journey. And this man, Odysseus. After winning an air guitar contest, he toppled off the side of a cruise ship, battled a sea creature, tread water for more than half a day, and survived on bamboo or maybe just some kind of stick until the Coast Guard had picked him up the next day. And according to her, though Aqua was consumed, it did not play a part in the chain of events. He always ate some kind of stick. He battled some sort of creature and ate some sort of stick. <laughs> Dude was tripping. He was either drunk or high, I don't know. Why do 90% of all medicines sound like cool wizard names? It is I, Zyrtec the Almighty! <laughs> Me, decorating bloody ruins. Man, why did we ever stop up worshipping golden idols? This crap rules! Severed bowl's head I carry with me for advice. If you mix sulfur, charcoal, and the salt pizza together, you will become a powerful sorcerer. My goodness, what? Ah, crap. I'm sorry, hey man, my schedule for the week is all booked. Sunday, yearn. Monday, hine. Tuesday, long. Wednesday, ache. Thursday, sigh. Friday, lament. Saturday, crave. Can't relate. Here's my schedule. Every day, go beast mode. <laughs> I still do not understand what possessed so many well respected actors to do the Spy Kids movies. Like, did they pay really well? Did you want these beautiful, terrible movies to be a blemish on your career forever? Why? Antonio Banderas did so many high profile movies, then Spy Kids, he looked like this. Damn. <sighs> My own Sonic at the Isochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games is such a great game. It lets me live out my wildest fantasy. Born to make history. Is this a you're on ice thing? People, pe keep, keep, people keep... Wow, I cannot talk. Is this that you're on ice people keep talking about? No. You're on ice is a lot more gay. Beautiful, too. It's actually technically a reverse harem, but... 
I still think it's super gay and beautiful. I was on the sub subway today, and when the train got delayed, this little kid was like, Frick! And a literal chorus of grown-ups went, Hey! Let him say Frick. I was at a crossing once, and a cat said, said and we have to wait for the green man, and the green people... And third people on the crossing also would wait for the green man just proved to this kid that's what you do. I've never seen anyone wait for the green man on this crossing before. You just go when it's clear. But everyone waited. Hmm. Corollary to It Takes a Village is that you're gonna get a village whether you ask for it or not. I'm autistic so I break the rules. I'd probably see everyone else waiting and just be like, it's clear, I'm not fucking, I'm, I'm not messing with this, screw it, I'm going. Frick you. Frick the lesson you're trying to teach. <sighs> oh my goodness. The word MILF gets used so much in memes and a funny post so often that I keep forgetting it's a very stupidly named porn term. Literally mom would like to frick. Why are horny straight men naming shit in dumbest ways? Might as well go with mother I'm sexually attracted to. Who at this point... Misato. No! <laughs> no way. I cannot put into words how much I freaking loathe the fact that when you search something on YouTube, now it will randomly intersperse with blocks of people also watched and for you into the results. That's not what I searched for, YouTube. I typed in the search query because I want to see search results, not random unrelated garbage you have placed in my way, apparently to either inconvenience me or force me to scroll further for actual results. I despise your wretched little games and every time I see it, I can only instantly close the tab as I am overcome with the urge to burn something down. I despise wretched little games. Perfectly conveys how I feel about the entire algorithm and an attention economy. God, the entire idea of an attention economy is so freaking dystopian. But that's exactly what it is, and it pains me. <sighs> Here I am making videos for YouTube because uh, I want, because, and uh, and I'm getting kind of screwed up because I'm not entertaining enough to actually get into this attention economy or this algorithm stuff. I'm actually pretty bad at my job. It's surprising that I haven't and and gotten shut down just yet. We are in a rare situation where Passover. Easter, Ramadan, and Thatcher's death at, at the anniversary over, all, all over her lap. A blessed day to all celebrating. He is risen! Happy Easter! He is not! Happy Passover! He is off limits until sundown! Happy Ramadan! She will never write eyes again! Happy Margaret Thatcher death day! Happy Margaret Thatcher run the... English economy. I kind of thought it was ruined by I just England being England. Don't ask me to elaborate, I will not. My professor put the words double trouble, toil, and trouble on the board and asked us where they're from, and I said prisoner of Azkaban. Turns out it's Macbeth and not a frog choir original. I am an English major. <laughs> Girl, I would end myself if I did that, lol. Reading Harry Potter, the author actively makes you less literate. Just remember. As a transfer, I have to remind you, Harry Potter was not good. You were fuck. You were just nine. Stop saying it was. How do you not know that's from Macbeth? They a censored the A in Macbeth. 
Why did you censor the name of the Scottish play? I think that is way fun funnier than saying the Scottish. I think doing that is way funnier than saying the Scottish play, and I'm not going to risk actually saying the name and having something bad happen. I just realized, despite me making fun of you for or saying "ing m m dash c bad," I refuse to say it myself. I am freaked up. Even I, the LP, flinched from writing it in the notes. You guys are are losers. Macbeth, 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 Macbeth. A piano falls on me from the heavens. Do y'all all only post from inside a theater? All the world. All the stage, Catgirl Forskin. <laughs> the names. Catgirl Forskin. I love the names. It does not matter what you do on Tumblr. You will always have the most ridiculous names on the planet. Like even this one, Hungry. Wait, that's me when I'm hungry. People born in 2000 should be like 13 to 14, should be like 12 to 14 now. Um... <laughs> I'm 22. I was 23, actually. I was born in 2000. But they're not. That's how freaked up our world is now. The older this post gets, the funnier it becomes. The fact that I was born in 2000 and I kind of agree makes this hilarious. Like, I am 22 years old. I have lived for two decades. And yet still... For some ungodly reason, for some reason, the 80s were 30 years ago, ultimately still. They were not. It's 2020s. The 80s were, frick, like 40, 50 years ago. <sighs> this image looks like what... Uh, that explanation and point sounds like in my head. And you are so right for that. Look at that cat going in completely crazy. <sighs> oh my goodness. That is one sharp phone. Look at that phone. That is a sharp phone. It peels an apple. Translation. Because I can't read it. I think that's Chinese. It might be Japanese. I wouldn't know. Okay. Whatever. The edge where the glass as screen in the metal meets can cut your hand. You freaking tell me this is normal. I think it's Chinese. I admitted my cats went insane. Cutting edge technology. My man living in the 3023. You listening to J J A P G E dash S. Brother, that's an image. Ignore the haters. I believe in you who keep listening to those images. What do you mean, listening to the images? What? <laughs> I'm sorry to think this guy might I'd be a little bit crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I read this already, but... Card game, card game mechanics and technicalities. This is between Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering, as someone who plays Zyder. It's that Yu-Gi-Oh! cards say, like, if you own, own a Blurb Ionicus, the King of Red Eyes in your pendulum, um, 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 and so, but not your left pendulum summon zone, you can sell astral summon, not ritual or zectral or pendulum summon. 16 cards named Blurb or Mini, excluding made Blurb Mini, to any zone except the super or double defense zone. 
And no one can explain this to me, but meanwhile, a magic guard entering card says, Flying. After the end of the of your turn, draw a card. And people are like, oh, those fools. Because the actor only goes on the stack after the end of your turn because of the use of your instead of user uh, instead of the owners and because Mercury is in Gatorade. Technically, it only resolves during the opponent's third upkeep when explicitly you can't draw cards or else a sniper will shoot you. <laughs> what? As a former Magic the Gathering judge, I can affirm this is correct. I played Magic like once or twice and I suck at it. it it's fun, sure, but it's evil. It's fricked up. Yeah, it's pretty much F you the game. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, right. I have to reread some of these because, um... I tried to record our, our Templar yesterday and I couldn't. Anyway. Have I ever shown you guys the most bizarre Nintendo plushie I own? It's a Luigi pill! Oh my goodness. OP is Luigi pill. Oh, god, why? <laughs> Luigi pill. Hard to swallow pills. <laughs> it's Luigi. I love that. Whew. One time, I ever said at trading, we stopped in the middle of nowhere off the highway at a combination KFC and Taco Bell. Guy at the counter was wearing a Taco Bell hat and asked, KFC or Taco Bell? Before I said anything, so I said, uh, KFC? And this fricker dipped behind the counter and reappeared with a KFC hat on instead. This dude pulled a shoe from Avatar. I remember it is. I remember it was yesterday, and and the video broke, so I so I have to redo it today. Anyway, this dude pulled a shoe from Avatar. The guy who, who was like in charge of all the shops in the town, out or whatever, he pulled that guy I, who just changed his hat and called himself a new name. I call him a shoe because that's uh, because that's parody name and what the guy who actually does it. Anyway, nerf definition by giving all for offside is in style of Silicon Valley tech bros predicting their next big technological advancement. What? I'm marrying my sister's ex. My parents said I'm disrespecting family by doing this, which is funny since my sister was the one who dumped my fiancé to go join ISIS. Which sent a text message to everyone before boarding the plane, and yet I'm the bad one for... Not to give any credit to that hive of scum and villainy, but God is very funny. I say while reading off of Reddit. <sighs> Oh, jeez. All I want in life is to try one of these candies from Jimmy Neutron. Oh, jeez. Those look good, though. And the book gum! Yeah, those look really good. I want some. Ooh. <sighs> In Japan, radiation creates monsters, Godzilla. And in America, radiation creates superheroes. Shockingly, it's almost like Japan and America have different in, in narratives surrounding nuclear fallout. Now, if we all think very, very hard, maybe could, someone could think of why this might be. <sighs> they made Godzilla because after World War II, after America literally vaporized two towns, two cities from Japan, they kept on, on throwing nukes in the Pacific Ocean to test them out. Japan was not okay with this because they were scared of what the radiation might do. Which is very fair. So, they, so then they made a horror movie called Godzilla. Which was about a monster made from um, these stupid experiments that America kept doing. America not giving a crap and thinking, well, we, we were heroes for ending World War II after we nuked the crap out of you, so obviously nuclear radiation makes superheroes. 
This science makes superheroes out of nuclear ir irradiation. Just another reason why maybe America kind of sucks. Not to excuse Japan for any of its its badness. There are a lot of things that could be far better in Japan. Which is why I'm not going to praise it. Japan at all in, in my upcoming lectures. Oh yeah, I have to get to that soon. All I'm saying is if uh, Alice in Wonderland and and Nokia managed to get a, a dark gray psychological horror game and then we need a Red Riding Hood a horror game where Red Riding Hood gets cursed by a big bad wolf to become a werewolf. How she has to and how she has to find a way to reverse the curse while being hunted down by a woodsman who's a hunter and exotic creature. I'm just saying. Wait, Alice in Wonderland and Pinocchio have dark, gritty psychological horror games? That's awesome. I need to play those. Does the average man get enough sleep? What is sleep? What is the average man? What is does? <laughs> the San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935. Sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. What is does? That's a good question. <sighs> Literally, though, they did change them. It seems like um, the more further you go into, the more closer you get to modern day and also modern day, the more like softer um, anime girls and anime look. Personally, I like it. It gives me the happy feelings. But I could see that um, certain types of weaves might not like it. It might give them the anger feelings. Anyway, I think this one's going to be the last one. Alright. Me, starting a new game. I'm going to be evil this time. Me, five minutes into said game. Being mean is not nice. Me, after failing to be evil. I'm going to look up the video of... of the YouTube videos of that playthrough instead. Me looking at the uh, videos. I can't watch this. Okay, so. I tried to do the genocide route in Undertale. I managed to kill Toriel. I managed to kill old Papyrus. And then, then I got to Undyne. And she was freaking me up, and I did not want to kill her. I was tired of killing everything I came across. And then I, and then I ruined the a run. Nighttime. Nighttime, my time. These all feel like they were taken to the exact same moment at the set. The exact same night at the, the exact same time at the exact same moment. Yeah, look at that. This one is terrifying though. Imagine in a clown. Scary crap. Anyway, I think that's enough for our slash tumbler for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with you tomorrow with the presentation of cringe. It's gonna be fun. It's also gonna be cringe. I have to psych myself up for it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy a, a, a tomorrow's video as well. Goodbye.